Uh, now this, politics. Liz Cheney has been booted as chair of the House Republican Conference. Chad Pergram is on Capitol Hill. Chad, uh, thanks for joining us this morning. What can we expect to happen next? Well, you know, at some point they'll have to get a replacement, but we don't know when that's going to come. It was a voice vote today, a non-recorded vote to expel Wyoming Republican Liz Cheney from her leadership position. She was the number three in the House GOP hierarchy. Cheney was also the highest ranking Republican in American government. Cheney did not put up a fight. We must go forward uh, based on truth. We cannot both uh, embrace the big lie and embrace the Constitution. Republicans did not install New York GOP Representative Elise Stefanik as Cheney's successor. That may come later this week. Some Republicans don't think Stefanik is conservative enough. There's a reason why House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy did not become Speaker a few years ago. McCarthy lacked the votes. Some Republicans who stand with Cheney will remember this vote and McCarthy's role bouncing Cheney from leadership. Now, if Republicans win the majority next year, today's vote could harm McCarthy in a bid for Speaker you need a majority of the entire House. Ashley. All right, interesting stuff. Chad, thank you very much. Good time to bring in Brett Baer. Brett, good morning to you. Uh, look, this wasn't, uh, I guess this was expected, but your reaction? It wasn't, yeah, right. It was was expected, um, and it was in the cards because uh, the members of the caucus, the Republican caucus, believed that uh, Liz Cheney was not representing them well as GOP conference chair, uh, battling with the former president. Uh, that said, uh, she probably got some supporters uh, based on this move, saying that she stands on principle um, and that she's going to continue to. There's about 100 lawmakers, apparently, actually, that are going to release a letter saying that they're going to form a third party if uh, the party does not break formally with former President Trump. I think that would be interesting to see uh, how that develops. But in the big picture, this is not going to be a blip on the midterms. I mean, no one is voting next year, uh, plus four or five months, saying, remember that GOP conference battle with Liz Cheney? <laughs> They're not doing it. So uh, I think in the big picture, it's not a big deal. Right. But it certainly does show, to your point, that the Republican Party does appear fractured and the shadow of Donald Trump hangs heavy over this party. Um, how does this party, you know, put forth a, a vision of unity? It's going to be a challenge, I think, and it's going to be fascinating to see the blueprint, how they get to 2022. I think a lot yeah. of the party, a majority of it, says the policies of the Trump administration were something they really loved. The person, a lot of them didn't love so much mm. because it caused them heart, heartburn. Um, others say full-on support for the former president. would like to see him run in 2024. So I, I think that mapping that out is going to be key. Their, their key is really to focus on Joe Biden and the policies of the Biden administration uh, to play off of that. Tonight, Ashley, we have uh, Senate, Senator Mitch McConnell, the Senate Minority Leader, on special ah. report. And so we'll get maybe some indications where their messaging is going to be going forward. It seems to me, though, that if you criticize Donald Trump, I mean, Liz Cheney called for his impeachment and, uh, and everything else, but if you criticize Donald Trump, you're in trouble within the GOP. For the, for the most part, that, that has played out. Uh, she is testing that yeah. and saying that there is another side to the party that uh, will mm. get too frustrated with some of the things that the president has said, continuing the stolen election uh, push, et cetera. And talking of your show, Brett, don't you have Liz Cheney on when? Tomorrow night, is that Thursday right? Thursday night, yeah. We have the cable news exclusive, Liz Cheney, uh, speaking out uh -huh. uh, tomorrow night. And, um, you know, I'll ask her all kinds of things about whether she was poking the bear purposely uh, and whether she wanted this moment <laughs> right. uh, to happen. Okay, we'll look forward to that. Should be a very interesting interview. Brett, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And uh, we'll be sure to catch that show and that interview tomorrow at 6 p.m. on Fox News. Right. Thanks so Thanks. much, Brett.